Welcome to Meaningful Morning. I received an email from a seeker in our community recently sharing that her teenage daughter has restarted competitive swimming. That's not unique. Lots of people do that. And she also shared that as her teenage daughter is doing laps in the pool, 25 laps, 50 laps, 100 laps. She's engaged in japa. <laughs> if you can try to visualize that, what a meaningful way to make that which is repetitive, magical. And I know this is your experience too. When you infuse meaning, for those in our Tuesday study group, the word is anuraga or love. Into what you do, you will start to feel that you can do anything. That's the magic of meaning. And once you start to feel you can do anything, the more authentic and deep transformation is you feel you can be anything. You can be happiness. This is the vision of the highest vocation, is to change from dependent joy to independent joy. What we have done, are doing, will do in meaningful mornings is magical. We have completed Navaratri. Nava does mean nine, but a more philosophical meaning of Nava is new. You will feel new when you have a Sankalpa. Sankalpa is intention or purpose. The fuller meaning of this word is sum, which means well, and Kalpa, which means change. Navaratri is when you have a play, plan to change in a better way. We have completed Dashami, Vijaya Dashami. This celebration is not at night, but when there's light around. Because if you do change in a meaningful way, then you feel lighter, you feel lightness. And now with Vijaya Dashami, there's a period of approximately 20 days until Deepavali. And taking the philosophy of this, darkness is going to come back. External darkness will come back. But with the continuity of changing in a meaningful way, you will be a source of light. Not a lamp, but you. Yesterday, I'd shared with our children that Sri Rama defeated Ravana today. And they were fascinated by this. And they said, today? <laughs> and I said, yes, today. Really? Today? They just defeated Ravana? <laughs> and I said, yes. And tried to bring this to their level and really to my advantage. <laughs> I had shared 
that Ravana has multiple heads, and so he is a multitasker. One who doesn't listen. See, that's to my advantage, hey? When you don't listen, who are you really? And I didn't say it, but they, inf they inferred it. <laughs> One who doesn't actively listen doesn't actively learn. Learn how to be happy. Whereas Sri Rama, he has one head. He is one who unitasks. And so is an active learner. Now spinning this back to us, Sri Rama defeating Ravana is history. But can you make this your philosophy? When you reflect on this, you personalize this. And I had shared some ways to make this personal. In Srimad Bhagavatam, there's a beautiful teaching on Bhagavata Dharma. What is the responsibility of one who loves divinity? And essentially the answer is surrender. The one who loves divinity surrenders to divinity. But then a follow-up question is, how do you know if you're surrendering? And the answer is, the lowest type of surrender is when you feel divinity is in a murti, in an icon. More evolved than that is when you feel divinity is in madhyama, that is in one's center, one's heart. But the best surrender is when you feel divinity is in manava. Those who are alive like animals, plants, stones. And I share this to challenge how we celebrate Navaratri. I specifically used the words yesterday that Navaratri is not, and when I say not, I mean in brackets, not only garba ing <laughs> and sahasra nami, nama ing, I'd share Navaratri is a purpose. And I'm going to give you another framework because this whole month we're celebrating so much. Deepavali is coming. Thanksgiving is coming. To make this more meaningful, the word bhakti or love comes from bhaja. Bhaja starts off with singing. But you're more mature than that. Singing is to evolve to seeking. Not just your words, but also your thoughts. That's not enough. This is to evolve to supporting. Sacrifice your resources for your mother's children. My mother was telling me yesterday that my father was born on Vijaya Dashami. And so his parents named him Vijay. <laughs> my mother's brother, my mama, he was also born on Vijaya Dashami. So his name is also Vijay. Now, whether there's actual Vijaya is quite different than being named Vijay. See the externalization. And I was reflecting finally on <clears throat> domestic violence and child abuse, reflecting on Elevate Her Story. That if I were a mother in this context, what would I want from my children? I would want my children not to dance around me and not to sing around me, but to support my children. Challenge yourself to infuse more meaning, certainly into your morning and day, but also your rituals, your celebrations. Shri Krishna in chapter six, 17, is focusing on Shraddha. Shraddha gets expressed through 
three Fs, faith, fastening, fastening here means holding on to, I'm fastening my seatbelt to keep me here, and following. Faith, fastening, following. Following the trust triangle. And certainly, what you input is going to affect your faith, your fastening, your following. Three verses on inputting in Sanskrit, ahara or food. Verse eight, again. Ayu sattva balarogya sukha priti vivardhanaha. Rasyaha snigdha stira hridhyaha. Ahara sattvika priyaha. Vivardhanaha. The food or the input which increases. Ayuhu. Longevity. Sattva. Purity. Bala. Strength. Arogya. Immunity, sukha, cheer, priti, satisfaction. Such food is rasya, juicy, snigdha, succulent, stira, nourishing, hridya, pleasing, priya. Dear cousin, <coughs> childlike Arjuna, such ahara or inputs are sattvi. Verse 9. Comparatively, katvamla lavana tyushna, tikshna ruksha vidahinaha, ahara. Raja Sasyeshtaha Dukkha Shoka Maya Pradaha Joy Ahara Rajasi Ishtaha The input that people like is described as Rajasin. What kind of input or food? Katu Bitter Amla, sour. Lavana, salty. Atyushna, extremely hot. This means in temperature. In temperature. Tikshna, spicy. There's a separation from hot and hot. Spicy. Ruksha, dry. Like eating chutney puri without ghee. Like that. <laughs> um, how do I describe that? It is dried up chili powder without moistening it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, try it. <laughs> Let this be your experience. <laughs> Vidahi, burning. Now, here's a third hot. This burning is like eating wasabi. It's a different type, type of burning, like a hot mustard. What does this cause one? Pradaha, what this brings is dukkha, pain. And shoka, <laughs> that pain goes from external to internal. One be becomes an experience of discomfort. Like if you've eaten spicy food and you can't handle it, it is not a good experience. And amaya, it leads to disease. One more verse. Verse 10. Inputs that are leading to quietness, aggressiveness, and now laziness. Yata yamam gatas. Yata yamam gatarasam 
Puti paryushtim chayat. Sorry. Puti paryushitam chayat. Uchishtam apicha medhyam. Bhojanam tamasapriyam. Dear Prince Arjuna, Bhojanam, the food or input that is described as tamasik, makes you lazy. Yata yamam means stale or half cooked. And very technically, that which is more than three hours old. <laughs> We should go into our homes and see which fruit food is less than three hours old. <laughs> a yama means a muhurta or a three-hour period. Gatarasam, tasteless. Puti, it is putrid. Paryushtam, it is rotten. Uchishtam, it is impure. These are a lot of details on food, and I'm going to put this into a simple framework to remember. Food that makes you comfortable is sattvic. Food that causes discomfort is rajasic. And food that makes you uncomfortable is tamasic. But remember, ahara doesn't just mean food. It means all that you input, including people. People that make you feel natural, make you feel unnatural, make you feel not like yourself. I will share a few more details about food tomorrow, and then we get into the real substance of this chapter, that there are three types of yagnya tapadana. Dedication, sacrifice, and donating. From inspiration to application. Your application yesterday was to re-watch the annual Seva training on Chinmaya Niagara's YouTube channel. How many of you did this? Good. If you didn't do this, and please share this with young people. Let them watch a video like this rather than a 15 second clip on TikTok in terms of jumping higher. <laughs> Your application for this morning on Chinmay Niagara's website, I want you to go to initiatives and I want you to read about Elevate Her Story, what we started in 2020. For those who are not resonating with how serious Elevate Her Story is, if you have the stomach to experience this, Google Sault Ste. Marie and what happened there yesterday on account of domestic violence. Those who are Dana contributing to elevate her story, do share your receipts with us. Shanti, 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 he. Be joy.